You're watching Rock Titan TV, featuring me, the lead singer, Jonas Pierre. Okay, Rock Titan Nation, we have a very special guest with us right now. All the way from Copenhagen, Denmark, we have the lead singer of Mew, Jonas. Yes. I want to say your last name properly. Pierre. Yeah, it's pretty close. Jonas Pierre, and I just have to say hi and Tuch Tak. Siltak? That's nice Danish. All right, all right, I'm trying, trying to do you proper there. Like part Danish, maybe? Yeah, yeah, all right. So, everybody, here's our man Jonas. Um, he has a brand new album coming out with Mew, and it's dropping this Friday, April 28th, Visuals. And uh, I had a chance to listen to a number of the tracks on there, I have to say. Uh, very cool, man. Very cool work. You guys are staying true to what it is you guys do. And uh, yeah. how, how do you, how do you feel? How do you feel with it coming out this Friday? I feel really good. I, I'm really excited about the release, and uh, I have less of this kind of weird uh, vacuum feeling that I usually have at the end of an album because we made it a bit faster, so I can still remember how it felt coming up with all those songs together. You know, like uh, okay. it's, it's still kind of fresh in my memory. So that that's a nice change. Right, right. Now, for a lot of the Rock Titan fans out here that aren't familiar with Mew, although they should yeah. be familiar with Mew because you guys put the Mew in music, you know. Um, the funny thing is, you know, I've, I've gone back and I've watched a lot of other interviews and I've looked at a lot of the other media footage that you guys have put together. And there seems to be this consensus that you cannot put Mew into any one genre like everyone wants to always classify a band as to what kind of music they are and and stuff yeah. like that um you know whether it's psychedelic or progressive alternative you know and everything like that for me just listening to you guys it's more fantastical than anything else like i right. feel like i'm really being taken somewhere else you know like right. supernatural is that what you're going for is that what you kind of feel you guys are all about yeah, I, I, I think it, it's just we just kind of follow, you know, our nature uh, as people. Yeah, I don't know if we have an agenda like that, but I think that we just make the kind of music that we'd like to listen to and and uh, just try to express ourselves. And I think that it is kind of fantastical. It's not, it's not like a direct story of reality. It's more like a reflection of reality. You know, like. Uh, like an interpretation of, of the world in a way, you know. So that's, I guess, what we're going for. Yeah. Now it's it's amazing to me because obviously, you know, I'm 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 looking at you right now, and you can see me, and you know, I know that you guys have been together for 20 years, and I'm yeah. just thinking to myself, how is that even possible? What you guys been playing since you were in your diapers? No, we we well, we started the band when we were in the eighth grade. Okay. Uh, oh wow. All right. So you guys have been together since you were kids. Yeah. I've known I've known Johan in the band since I was six years old. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean we didn't call ourselves Mew for the first few years, but but we right. we've been just kind of making weird little films and, and music together since we were quite young. Yeah, yeah. Well, I gotta tell you, I love speaking with Scandinavian-based bands, just because you know I don't know if you noticed my last name being Johnson, but the Johnson side of my yeah. family they're actually from Sweden. So uh, right. my, my grandfather was a Swedish immigrant, and uh, obviously Swedish and Danish are a little different, you know, but all part of that Scandinavian quarter of the world. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, and I've spoken with a number of other artists out in your neck of the woods, and uh, you guys have such an amazing music scene over there. I mean, it really is dynamic. Uh, it, it seems like some of the, the, the biggest bands over the last, you know, 15 to 20 years really have been out in your neck of the woods. Now, yeah. having toured, you know, throughout the world yourself, you know, but your home being over there in Scandinavia, and I know you've spent some time in the UK and things of that nature, do you notice a difference yourself in the music scene between where, you know, you're living over there and then when you come over here to the United States? Yeah, I, I definitely do. Uh, I also, I, you know, I also think there's a difference between Denmark and Sweden. Sweden is a little further... Uh, like they're, they're a little more professional. They, they, they got think? their, yeah, they got their stuff together. We're a little more sort of like just trying to figure out how to do things. Still, I mean, the Swedish have been 
successful since ABBA, you know. Right, right, sure, have, sure, you know, ABBA, yeah. Denmark hasn't really had, uh, we, we had Aqua, you know. Right, right. A month later, but uh, in the Well, now they have Mew. What's well, funny, and then we, then we have Mew. You know, yeah. So. All right, so I want, to, I want to talk about visuals, you know, obviously, because this is your new album coming out this Friday, April 28th, and again, everyone, go check out, I believe it is uh, MewSite.com, that's your actual that's website? Right. Okay, so everyone go out to Mew, M-E-W-S-I-T-E.com, and buy visuals, buy it now, you know? <laughs> Actually, I guess they can't, they got to wait till the 28th, right? The 28th is released, yeah. Okay, so... Well, you can pre-order and you won't regret it. All right, yeah, no, you certainly will not. And, you know, the name Visuals that you gave this album, what yeah. came first? The, the the videos and, like, what you had visually in mind, I guess, for the songs that you made? Or did you make the name of the album for what you had planned? You know, like, what came first? Because looking at your videos, obviously, I mean, right now everyone's watching 85 videos, and then right. uh, even if we go back to one where there wasn't as much theatrics, but still there was some animation with Carry Me to Safety, which, Carry Me to Safety, awesome. Absolutely Thanks. love it. Um, a lot of visuals and what you're doing yeah. there. You know, psychedelic okay, we, in nature. I, I'm, I do animation as well, and, and it's been kind of a part of our live show since okay. we started to, okay. to have these projections. So that was part of it. We wanted to do even more of that on this tour, and... Uh, the other was just like, yeah, we had a few visual ideas uh, to sort of provide some kind of guideline for the songs. Just, you know, it's, it's just like when you have like, if you have a title for a song, even before you write it, you have something, you have a, a point of reference somehow. You have something to go from, you know, and right. that that's helpful. And uh, on this one, we just wanted it to be more sort of a visual guideline. Yeah. And it's, it's hard to say how much it... it it meant for the album, but I think it, it just helps you hone in on what you want to do with each song, you know? So that's, that's what we did on this one. And uh, right now I'm, I'm making, I, all, we also, I, I decided that well, we decided to do all the videos uh, ourselves because I've done a few in the past uh, music videos, but this one is more sort of an internal album. We okay. produced it ourselves and I made the artwork for it. And I just, it's, it feels, it's kind of like a, like a sort of, like an inside job, you know, like I'm, so I'm doing the, the music videos as well. Yeah, no, that's very cool. And I'm glad you brought that up because that's a perfect segue and kind of what I want to talk about next. I know that you guys, uh, with, with your last album, I believe you were signed to Sony Records over there yeah. in Europe and they, and they were carrying you. Now you're independent, you know, and you're doing yeah. things on your own. How do you feel about that experience? Do you, do you feel that you have more freedom as a band and as an artist to do what you want now versus maybe having a record label kind of dictating what you can and can't do or what you should or shouldn't do? Well, I, you know, I, I never had any uh, bad experiences being on Sony either. They, they kind of let us do what they what Okay. They want. Cool. I just think that they, the major labels aren't really geared for bands like us anymore. It, okay. It's, and and we, we're working with uh, with PS Played Against Sam now and they're, they're much more sort of I don't know. They just they're, they're used to. They have a lot of cool, sort of weirder bands, and and uh, we definitely fit in that category better. So okay. I just think they know what to do with us a little more, like how to sort of yeah, like they 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 have the right sort of approach, you know? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, no, it's I get a it. Collaboration. I get it. Well, one of the things that really blew me away, you know, because I'm going out, I'm checking out your videos, and I'm listening to some of the new tracks. You know, right. basically off YouTube, you know, because that's what we have now, pretty much, to digest everything. Sure. Unless you're watching Rock Titan television, in which case, which you know, it's, it's music TV all over again. So that's yeah. that's what we're going for. But you already have so much traffic, you know. I mean, the album hasn't even dropped yet, and already, I mean, you can see the fan base that Mew has. What does that yeah. mean to you, man, knowing that you have such a great, loyal following? It, it means the world to me, and it's something I'm really, really grateful for. Yeah. I, I, you know, whenever I'm on tour, sometimes you wake up and you, oh, you feel a little sick. Oh, it's, it's tough to be on tour, but then I just remind myself how lucky I am to have that, and, and I'm super grateful that because the, the fans are, are the ones making it possible. Right. You know? so, so I'm just so grateful for that, and, and I hope that we can keep doing it for many, many years. Yeah, and, uh, 
Yeah. And they're very loyal, our fan base. They and they're, and they're very creative. You right. know, they, there's a lot of creative people there, uh, which is great. Well, I mean, it's a perfect reflection of your music, you know, yeah. and, and the videos themselves. I mean, that's that's really what you guys are. I mean, like I said, I mean, listening to your new track. That just well, I guess you you know you kind of released it a few weeks back, but carry me to safety. As soon right. as I heard that, I was just like I, I really felt uplifted, like right. literally. I mean, I felt like, you know, like I was flying. You know, I mean, it really, it, it just it, it felt so great to hear that, and I can only imagine what that's like. You know, performing that. Have you performed that live yet in front of any of your fans? No, we have not yet. No. No. Okay. We have, we've only. Performed once. Uh, some of the, we played in Tokyo a few years, a few days ago, acoustic show. Okay. And that was the first, but we didn't play that song. But that was the first time we played any of the new songs. So, so it's quite, it's still quite new. We're we're doing rehearsing now, and we're gonna go on tour in about a week. So. Okay. Yeah. I was perfect segue again. Jonas, you're reading my mind, man. Yeah. Yeah. This is good. This is good. So, yeah. as far, as far as you, the tour goes, where mm. are things kicking off? Uh, we, well, we start May sixth, I think. Okay. Uh, we had it's a strange tour. It's, it's like Asia and then Europe in in one go. Okay. Uh, so and and there's lots more touring uh, coming up, but I but I, I don't think it's it's confirmed yet. But we we're gonna see a lot of the world this year. Definitely. Nice. Now we talked a little bit ago because we're just based right outside Philadelphia, and I know you said you'd been here a few times. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. You know, the food in Philly, I, I got to imagine, is a little bit different than the food that you're going to get over there in Copenhagen. Well, there's this, you're famous for some, there's some sandwich. That's yeah, cheesesteak, the cheesesteak, the Philly cheesesteak. Is do you recommend it? Oh, my goodness. Well, yeah, that if you don't mind having to take cholesterol medication with it. No, no. <laughs> you don't live once. <laughs> yeah, no, but how was your experience when you were over in Philadelphia, just out of curiosity? Because we are nicknamed the city of brotherly love, after all. Right, that's true. Um, it was great. We, I remember the venue was really cool. I can't remember what it was called. We played there. Was twice. it inside or outside? It was inside. Okay. Uh, it, was, it wasn't a very big club. Was it, I think was we it also... the Electric Factory? Yeah, maybe that was it. The Electric Factory? Yeah, I know that's where a lot of the touring bands come inside. But then we also have the Fillmore. There's the Tower. But I think the Electric Factory really does kind of cater to a lot more of them. There's about maybe two to 3,000 person capacity there. Uh, I think it was smaller than that. Oh, really? It's been, it's been actually been many years since we played. We, okay. We, well, we, we got to really... get you back here. Yeah, we should. We definitely should. Yeah, well, you got you to gotta throw that up on the list. Although I'm sure maybe, uh, you know, Tokyo and, and Europe's a little bit uh, more glamorous. No, no, no. We love touring the States. It's, it's always... I mean, I think for, for European bands... Touring the states, it's you know, it's pretty glamorous. Yeah. No, I got, I got, I got to ask you this, and, and I'm always curious about this, especially since you know English is, you know, I'm guessing your second language, you know, yeah. as opposed to Danish. Do you do any of your songs as Mew in Danish, or is everything you do in English? We never did. I, I don't know. I, you know, I'm asked this a lot. Like, why don't we? Why don't we sing in Danish? Uh, I. I don't know. I think we grew up with a lot of English and American music, and uh, okay. I don't know. As we we started quite young, and I think we we wanted to conquer the world, and uh, it seemed more likely singing. I don't know. Well, I guess I there is more universal way to do it in English. I just thought it'd be cool, maybe like you know, even uh, for a lot of uh, you know artists that have another language, you know, yeah. or, or that are from another culture, they'll at least throw some of those phrases. You know, into their lyrics and things like that. It's it's a it's a difficult language to to sing in. I think I, some people do it really well, but it's very guttural. Yeah. And uh, but but it's beautiful when people just do it well, and especially when the poetry is right. I mean, the the, the lyrics can be quite you know it it hits you in a special way when you're Danish, you know. But but there's sure. also a lot of people who are not very good at it. I think I, I, don't, I don't I think I would have to sort of just take a few years to. To do it really well, you know, but uh, I'm I'm happy singing in English. Well, I am too, and I know all your fans are as well. Um, one one thing I want to ask you, as far as like the videos, and you were just mentioning how you do these last ones you did yourself, you know, being yeah. in animation, things of that nature. 
how long did 85 videos take to make? I'm just curious because it's pretty impressive. It didn't take, it didn't take very long. I, I didn't have that long to finish it. No? Everything was kind of delayed towards the end. So it was like, oh, you have you have a week to make the artwork. You have really? nine days to make this video. And I thought I was going to have a lot longer. Uh, so it's... But sometimes when you don't have that much time, that's when you really come up with some with ideas for, for how to do things differently. And okay. I just made these kaleidoscopes and I put them together as, as masks. I had no idea what it was going to look like really until we tried it and then we projected on ourselves. And there's something about this mixture of, you know, uh, projection did from a, like something made in a computer with something organic and the, yeah. the skin texture. And it just... Uh, yeah, we, well, we didn't have that long to do it, but it feels very sort of, it's a little bit like the record as well, like we, we didn't go back and just second guess ourselves all the time, we just kind of went with our intuition with uh, with all of that as well, so it feels quite right for this album. Yeah, very nice. Now, how long has Visuals been in the making? Not that long. I mean, we, we did a lot of touring in 2015, and, and towards the end, we had a, a lot of ideas for new songs, and... Usually we don't really work on new music on tour because there's so much, you know, I don't know, there's so much preparation for the shows and the, you're doing press and we just usually don't have the energy. But this time we just felt very uh, happy being on tour and we felt really invigorated. And and so we decided to not uh, not really take a break. We just, right. the, the, we did the last show in London in December and then in January, right after New Year's, we got together and we looked over all the material we had and and felt like oh, we actually almost, you know, we, we have maybe half an album of ideas. I mean, it's, it wasn't, it was like a puzzle that wasn't put together. But, but um, yeah, I think um, about a year. Okay, all right, oh, wow. And you that that may not seem that fast, but for us it's super fast. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it, that's it, very cool. At least three years, so, yeah. But very cool. Now, I, I can't help but notice, is that a mandolin and a ukulele in the background that I see there? It is indeed, and there's actually a violin next to it as well. You just can't see it. Oh, all right. Do you play them? So this is my vocal booth. This is where I record my, my vocals when I when I record at home. Very nice. Now, do you play those instruments? Yeah, I do a little bit. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Very very cool. And right. and there's butterfly from Bali as well. Is that for, yeah from Bali, huh? Now, yeah. do you, do you collect a lot of items on your various tour travels? I do, and also sometimes we get presents from the fans. So oh yeah, that's cool. Get really cool stuff that you wouldn't normally see, and, and then you, you know, you, yeah, we have a, a really nice collection. What, what's one of the coolest and, things you've ever gotten from a fan? Well, I mean, I have this here right here that was given to me from a, a Korean fan, and it's like a, it's like a, it's me as an egg. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> She, she made one for each member of the band. You know, so wow! Handmade, hand, hand painted. So wow! I, I get to look at myself in, in egg form. <laughs> when I sit in my workroom. That's really cool. That is pretty wild. Yeah. That's that's a passionate fan right there. Absolutely. That's a like time. I said. We have very creative fans, so they they come up with a lot of cool stuff. Oftentimes, actually, the funny thing is, this the Korean girl who made these. She made them inspired by uh, our previous uh, artwork. And then this okay. company called M.M. Paris, when we did the plus and minus artwork, they liked her interpretation so much, so, so they used her artwork in their artwork. So it, it kind of went full circle. Oh, very cool. cool. Yeah. That's very cool. All right. Well, Jonas, I want to be sensitive to your time. And, uh, dude, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. And like Y'all, thank you. And for all of our fans out there, again, Visuals From You drops this Friday, April 28th. Make sure you go out to their website, musite.com, and pre-order it, because you're going to love it. they got some amazing tracks on there. Go check out the new music video, too. 85 videos, very, very cool, and uh, Twisted Quest. It's pretty wild. So, uh, yes, yes, sir. So, uh, you know, Jonas, once again, Tussen Tak. Uh, some talk, okay. All right, all right. And and hi. Hi is easy enough. Hi is hi and goodbye, right? Yeah, hi, hi. All right, cool, cool. All right, Jonas. Take care, man. All right. All right. Nice talking to you. Yes, you sir. Too. Later.